Hello friends, it is Erin or Everyday Erin and I am back with another video. Today is February 20 something, <laughs> let's see, it is February 23rd and I thought this would be a good day for us to check in about the March knit along. Now you may, you may not, remember that in March we are going to be knitting the Lars and the Real Girl blanket which is a free pattern which I have linked down below to the direct download, not through Ravelry. I know there has been some issues with that. And this is a free pattern from Tannis Gray and Louisa Demet. Could be saying that wrong. If I am, I apologize. So it's a nice two page PDF pattern that you can print out. And it does come in written out instructions as well as charted instructions. Now, if you are a new-ish knitter or a less adventurous knitter, I do think this is a good pattern. It does have some lace in it, but it's some pretty sim simple and straightforward lace. In fact, the only fancy stitches it has is a knit two together, an SSK, and a yarn over. That being said, in lace knitting, it can get complicated if you make mistakes. So in order to keep that from happening and to keep us from pulling our hair out, I do have a tip from you, for you, not from you. I have been knitting for a dozen years or so and I still do this. To me, knitting is supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be relaxing, and I'm gonna do everything I can to keep it that way. So what I would suggest doing is around each of these lace repeats, which is 15 stitches, I would put stitch markers between each of those repeats because then if you have a mistake, you can, little chunks of stitches are a lot easier to figure out where you've gone wrong than, what are we casting on here? 184 stitches. I would certainly prefer to look at 15 stitches and try and find my mistake than 184. <laughs> uh, I would probably frog it, possibly th toss it in the trash if I had to look through 184 stitches. So my recommendation, whether you're beginner or have been knitting for 40 years, is to put stitch markers on either side of the repeats. So then you're only working with small chunks of stitches. It's just gonna make it more enjoyable and you're not gonna notice those stitches on the on the rows that, you're not gonna notice those stitch markers on the rows that they you don't need them. So it's a good problem to have. Now this pattern calls for a DK weight yarn 884 yards of a DK weight yarn and a size 5 knitting needle. And I do believe that a size 5 is bigger than what DK weight yarn would typically call for. My recommendation in knitting this blanket is whatever your yarn calls for, size up. I mean, your mileage may vary and you may want something different, but I think if you use the called for needle size on the ball band or the yarn information, you may get a denser fabric than you like. When I have knit this in the past, and I have knit this with a bulky weight yarn, and I have knit it with a baby weight yarn, and I have followed that rule. I like a more airy fabric when I knit a blanket, so that is what I personally am going to do. Now you may remember, I'm going to be using this Premier Bloom Chunky, and I had several small skeins of this and I picked up a couple extra bigger skeins because I'd like a big juicy blanket. A juicy blanket, is that even a thing? So this is a bulky five and it calls for a size 11 needle. So I am going to knit mine on a 13. All right. I also went ahead and made a calendar for this knit along. This is the wrong calendar. This is the wrong calendar. I'm losing my mind. All right, hold on, I'm gonna go get the correct calendar. All right, I am back, I have the correct calendar. You may remember for the Yuletide calendar, I used a 2021 calendar. Yeah, I did that again this year, not this year, this time. But I did fix it and it was just waiting for me down on the printer. This calendar, 
is not the Bible. <laughs> this calendar is a guide to completing your blanket in the allotted 31 days. I don't know that I'm going to follow this schedule as closely as I did the Yuletide. It's all going to depend on time and actually it's going to depend on the size of blanket I want. The pattern calls for 23 repeats of the lace chart. I don't know if I'm going to do like 23 do the 10 lace rows 23 times. I don't know if I'm going to try and widen my blanket or if I'm going to do more lace rows. I'm probably going to cast on 84 stitches, do a bit of swatching. Oh, that word. I hate that word. <laughs> and see how big the, the blanket would be. But if you wanted to knit the blanket as called for in the pattern and you followed this schedule, you would be done on the 31st of March. You'd actually be done on the 29th uh, because the 30th is to weave in your ends and the 31st is to admire your blanket because it was an odd number of rows and I didn't want to break up the lace repeats too much. There are four days where I split the lace rows into two days just so it would fit evenly in the calendar and I didn't have to do any crazy math. But I think I'm probably going to knit it as called for in terms of width, 184 stitches. And then I'm going to see how big each repeat is. I would like this to be an adult blanket. I do believe this is probably a baby blanket size. 36 by 36. So yeah, that's baby blanket size. In bulky, it might be big enough um, as called for. So... As a tool, as a guide, I have provided also in the description down below this calendar like I did for the Yuletide. Feel free to download it and use it if you would like to. Um, we will be using the hashtag EELarsKAL, which I'll have up on the screen here for you to see. Please use that tag if you are knitting along because I love seeing the progress as everybody goes along. I think it makes it fun for everyone who is participating people who are on the sidelines watching it's you know it's great to cheer each other on and see everybody's progress so yeah i think that is all i have about the marching along for today i do have one other video that i have to um work on that's my plans video and i have written some notes about that and I'm going to try and get some stuff together and maybe I'll record that today, but maybe, maybe I'll save that for another day. We shall see how ambitious I feel. All right. I hope to see you on Instagram knitting along with me. And if you are planning to participate, I've asked this several times before, but down below, tell me I am officially knitting along with you because I would love to hear. All right. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you again soon. All right. Bye -bye.